Hello, nerds. How's it going? Welcome back, everybody. Thanks, Gary. That's nice. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all here. Welcome, welcome. Ah, how lovely. Good to see you all here for a game called uh, Submerged Hidden Depths. Games available uh, via the S Google Stadia and probably on Steam. I, I didn't look, but I'm sure a game like this is probably available there, too. We played a little bit of this game on uh, a video earlier, I think last week, and we're going to continue on where we left off, so if you're confused or whatnot, don't worry, we're just kind of at the beginning of the story, and you can jump back to a playlist to see part one after we're done here. But essentially, it's, you know, flooded world, people trying to survive, uh, they've built, uh, like, islands, but within skyscrapers, so the world's flooded, but not like, uh, you know, mega flooded, it's more like a... You know, up to halfway the size of a building and everything's been turned into like a little island. Yeah, uh, some, apparently there was a game before this one. This is actually a sequel. Uh, the game before this was called Submerged, where you're trying to uh, save your brother who was somehow wounded or whatnot. And in this game, um, you and your brother are now working together to try to like... Uh, there's this weird, icky like tar... This like, uh, this black goo is, is like taking over the world or something from under the ocean. I, I don't know. But it's kind of cool. And I like some uh, post-apocalyptic games. And this one definitely gives me some good feels. I wanted to play it some more. So that's why we are here. You love the glasses? Me too. That's, that's just our thing here. You're excited to see me play more of this? Good. Me too. I uh, definitely wanted to do much more of this game. It deserves all the love. Because it's cool. Very stylish, but it's actually kind of gritty in a way. The cities kind of re remind me a lot of, uh, like, Last of Us, but in kind of a uh, little bit more like Raft, too. Like, uh, it's a mix between, like, Last of Us and Raft, which is something I didn't think I'd say. At least in ways of games combining. What's up, Booster? How you doing, dude? 
Welcome back to the big channel, the big stream. All right, let's see here. Just want to make sure everything's good to go. All right, we'll get started in a moment or two. For those of you who forgot to smash that like button, remember smashing that button pleases the algorithm and, and uh, Susan herself. And without that, the channel won't grow. So thanks to everybody smashing the uh, subscribe button, the like button, and whatnot as we rock it towards the one million. I'm really trying to get people uh, this year and especially next year to really feel welcome and participate with the channel because, uh, yeah, all your guys' positivity makes a difference. And, you know, a lot of people come on here and say, hey, the, you know, it's nice to see you streaming. means a lot, that type of thing. So, hey, it means a lot to have your guys' support too. So it's like a two-way street. So thanks again for always supporting when you can. Uh, is this game multiplayer? No, it's a single-player story, but uh, it's a good one. I, I, I like uh, how it's gone so far, so we'll get started here in just a, m a minute or two. You already s smashed the like button a thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand times. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for some more, uh, supporting smaller games. Oh, I wouldn't even consider uh, Malmere to be a smaller game. It was just uh, more of a solo project. That's going to be a big game. That that could possibly be game of the year. Thanks for making the game. I truly enjoyed it. And thanks for your uh, explanation, too, for me and everyone else on how to play that. Developer of Malmere is in chat from uh, yesterday's video. That game's stylish, too. I love that type of, like, uh, it's not voxel, but it's, like, kind of a kind of a smoother, cleaner, like, minimalistic graphics. Like, it doesn't have to be, you know, it's not like... Uh, Cutting edge breakthrough technology. It's just it's fun. So it's like that's that's a big win. <laughs> like I enjoyed that too. All right, let's continue on with the uh, submerged hidden depths. Again, just to go over it one last time, I'm continuing where I left off from a video that was on the channel uh, earlier last week. So we'll be starting kind of a couple of hours, uh, eh, about maybe less than an hour in. So we're not too far. So if you want to kind of know more about the story, just check that video after the stream. It'll all make sense though. We're still at the beginning. Uh, what? Do you still building? Do you long highway tunnel? What? Um, I don't think I have played a game where I build a highway tunnel. I don't think so. I mean, unless it's City Skylines. Which, yes, I'll play more City Skylines. That game's fun, too. But I was uh, enjoying Parkitect yesterday with everybody as well. We, uh, we play all sorts of games here. Everything from big and small and in between. Another uh, smaller game went up today, too, by the way, on the channel. Creeper World 4. I don't know if a lot of people are going to watch that, because I couldn't really make a good thumbnail for that one to kind of convey what the game is about. But uh, we'll be playing that one later today, too, because that is just... Again, games don't have to look good to be fun. You know, Among Us looks like a Flash game from uh, 2009, but it is good. Fall Guys looks like just a kiddies game, but it is the uh, biggest competitive game of the year. Both good. Damn, this kid's hair is awesome. Look at that haircut on him. Is that a lightning bolt? I didn't notice that before. Except I think it's... Oh, maybe it's paint. You can see the gash in the kid's stomach, too. There's something um, that happens in the previous game where you're supposed to save him, so he's been, like, mortally wounded. I kind of want to play that previous game now. It came out in, like, 2015. Right, welcome to our uh, main base. So this is, like, a... I don't know, a capital building or something in this nation? Or an old cathedral or something? And uh, we got to go out and find a bunch of these um, things to try to do stuff. I don't know. I haven't figured it out quite yet. But we've explored a little bit of the map, and it was a lot of fun. Let's go up to this landmark here. All right, bro. Let's get in the boat. Aki, go. Let go up. You know what I've noticed about this game, too? One of the coolest things is when they talk to each other, it's kind of like um, a weird version of English. Like, it, I've explained this before, but... When they talk to each other, it's kind of like a, um, I don't know, what the hell? It's like this version of English where, um, there's nobody around to kind of like continue to keep a status quo of the language, so when they talk, it's kind of like, um, it, I don't know, you'll, you'll just kind of have to listen. Like, you can recognize that it's English. Bum, bum. Oh, there's some whales over there. Oh, I forgot I could, like, uh, boost. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see where we're at.
I think we want to go there. No, that's our house. Woo! It's weird. The whales are, like, made of plants or something. I don't know why, but we'll figure that out soon. Okay, there's a book page there, but I want to go to this landmark on the other side. How submerged. Really fun. That's why I'm uh, back to play more of it. Now, wait a minute. Apparently, I've gone to this landmark before. Is it... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe the game saved before I... I've been to this area before. Yo, welcome to all the new subs, boys. Appreciate all the support from everybody. Can I actually go up here? No. Oh. Well, that would have been cool. Some sort of a upgrade there, maybe? Another upgrade. Hmm. This is white, so it must mean that I discovered it. So yellow is where we want to go. But let's get some upgrades for our boat. Looks like there's a relic here. And then another part. Where are the members at? Yeah, hi members. Good to see you here. Thank you very much for the support. Are you playing on uh, two Titan XPs? Yeah, but we're playing this via Google Stadia, so everything's running on Google servers, basically, on their end. It runs just fine. Google Stadia had a horrible, horrible launch, but to be honest, their um, multiplayer... Like, there's this new thing that allows you to play with YouTubers in their chat if they're playing a game on Stadia, and it's really cool. We going fishing, bro? Uh-oh. That means we're going to get fish. I think we're getting fishing. Come on, bro. Pull it up, bro. It's a... Uh oh. A jack-in-the-box. One of 20 re relics dredged. Oh, create relics to create a gallery at the... Oh, cool. We can, like, make a museum for ourselves. That's cool. Look at that beautiful fog. I love that. All right, let's go get another propeller boost. I kind of don't like going fast in this world because there's so much to look at. It's beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. Before we start going in here... Let's see if there's anything valuable. Is this a base building game? Um... Well, we get collectibles to put in the base and we can upgrade our boat and stuff. Yeah, this game's a little bit more about uh, col exploration and collection at the moment. We're trying to kind of uh, rebuild the world in a way. You'll kind of see what I mean in a moment. But there are things that will... I think there's something out trying to attack us, too. We're being chased by something. I'm really impressed with the uh, building details and stuff in this game, though. It's it's not... These types of games usually go for a cuter look, where they're kind of cleaner and less gritty to just kind of, like, be more fun. But this is kind of a little bit more serious tone. But, uh, I like it. It's beautiful. Another relic. Uh, that water looks weird. I think it's supposed to be fog. Um, what could it be? A cash register. Old timey one, too. Damn, that's even a relic for me. Okay, well, we stumbled upon that. There's the boat upgrade. We went up there before. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Mm 
Drama. Uh, the game I was talking about is City Conscription, where you built the longest tunnel. I... I don't think I know what that game is. City Conscription? Sweet. We can upgrade the boat 26 times, so it's going to be quite important. Cool. Um... Right, we've done a lot of stuff up here in the north. Oh, another upgrade? Let's go for that. Yeah, we've done a lot of city const oh, construction games. Well, oh, I think you meant eco, actually. There was a game where we built a, a tunnel across the entire, like, planet. That game was cool. You've been here since 400,000 subscribers? Ah, we're almost to the big million. Oh, look at that. That's, be that's beautiful. No, we get to go on land eventually. It's kind of like how Wind Waker worked where... You know, you can like... You can, you can go on... Some certain islands. But right now I'm just looking for upgrades. Because it'll make our boat better and faster. Oh, I can hear something. That must be it. Yep. Alright, let's go. No, it automatically upgrades our boat. It, give, it gives us an extended boost. We're upgrading the engine to like be a better engine. Anything near... Yeah, he said like, da 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 da, which is like, got another. I love the way they speak in this game, it's awesome. Alright, let's actually go do a mission now. I think we need to go down to this landmark. There's lookouts, which reveal the map. Landmarks, which... Everything else is kind of a collectible. Diaries are important, though, because we need to uh, figure out what happened. Like, we're trying to... We're basically just playing as kids, so we need to figure out, um, like, what happened to the world. Although we can't use our boost at the moment. I don't know why. Wow, look at that giant bridge. Wow. No, this is just Dutch life. Dutch life simulator. That's how Booster gets to work. Oh. Well, those are nearby. Let's go get them. Uh, where are the windmills at? Uh, we have a water windmill that pushes our boat forward. That's why the Dutch like airplanes. Jet engines are basically just an upgraded windmill. Basically all it is. Hashtag Dutch life. Yes. We'll see some flowers in a minute if you're looking for tulips, boys. Right now I gotta get some upgrades. Where's the, uh... Oh, it's all the way out there. Wow, that looks like, uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. Th this city kind of has elements of, like, New York and Tokyo, San Francisco. It's, it's kind of like, it's trying to be every city, so that way you kind of feel like you're somewhere familiar, yet somewhere new. What is that? Ooh, a landmark of some sort. Alright, let's get these upgrades. Hope I'm having a good day, of course. We got chat here, man. We got everybody hanging out. Subbing, smashing likes, saying hi. You know, all that positivity, bro. We need it. A wow. new sub! Wow. Oh, it's a robot. 
Just like most of our viewers. They're all paid bots. Zero one zero one. Okay, we gotta go south. Let's go to a landmark finally. What's up, Luke? A rowboat? No, this actually has an engine on it, which is really cool. Kids actually using a motor. You get to kind of play as both characters in this game. I was thinking, oh, you just get to you you just play as the girl the whole time. That kind of stinks because there's two characters, but actually, you, you don't get to switch between the two. But while you're driving the boat, you you get to play as the guy, and then when you go and explore ruins, you get to play as the girl. So you're playing as both the brother and sister, which is kind of cool. Not often many games let you kind of like switch between characters. Usually you kind of play as one. New subscriber shout out. Broken Pass. Wow. New subscriber shout out. Yeah, the city has like industrial areas and uh, like commercial districts. Look at that. That's that's damn impressive. All right, there was one more thing we needed to find. I think there was a yeah, boat upgrade over there. Okay. Let me look around just to make sure there's nothing else. Ooh. Ah, lookout point over there. Actually, let's go this way. <sighs> Uh, the world is flooded from the tears of everybody who cries every time they take the McRib off the McDonald's menu. Do you guys see, like, Wendy's is starting to do uh, burgers for streamers? Do you know how offended I was when I went on Twitter and I saw that uh, there was, like, some Twitch streamers that they were... And I don't, I don't know who these people are, so nothing against them. But, like, Wendy's is starting to do what McDonald's did with Travis Scott. Except Wendy's is doing it with uh, streamers. So it's like, um, could you not, could you not do that? Like, I'm, I'm, I literally have an emote for Wendy's in chat, bro. Come on. I like, I like Wendy's. It's not health food, but I think it's a more quality burger than, let's say, Taco Bell. They make better burgers than Taco Bell, that's for sure. <laughs> Boat has unlimited fuel? Yeah, it seems so. Oh, we're in a good spot. Okay, we need to get up there. Am I looking for sponsors? I mean, if Wendy's sponsor, I think it'd be a legitimate sponsorship because all these... You, you notice every other person has like a G Fuel sponsorship? Nobody cares about G Fuel. It's just that everybody sponsors G Fuel, that's why. Oh, I guess we didn't have to pull that thing down. Did you hear how she says that? She says, like, I'll be right back, and he doesn't say okay. He says, Aki. It's awesome. Listen to that. That's how do. L listen to them talk, dude. I, it's such a hidden thing in this game. Stay ha. Yes. Stay ha, yes. Like, stay here, yes. It's so amazing. It's like simplified English. There's no, there's no, like... TVs, movies, or other people to, like, reinforce pronunciation. That's how accents happen after so many different years. I love it. Well, that's pretty lit. Yeah, it's like, it's like The Sims, kind of, yeah. Except The Sims takes a bunch of other real languages, like Romanian and Hungarian and stuff. And then Russian and Chinese and English and Ukrainian. Which is totally cool. I like I like the Sims for that part. I I really wish EA would lose the license to the Sims so that way it could even get better. Luckily it seems though that uh Games are getting... Uh, I, I still think, uh, despite anything going on recently, games are still getting better. Okay, looks like we actually have a main quest to do. Let's go do one of these seeds here and then find all these orange books that tell us more about the story. 
It looks like we're going into a uh, a big factory or something. I guess this is the drive-thru over here. So those, like, gi giant uh, tentacles that look like they're on fire or whatever, these, this weird growth that we have to stop. It feels like a Resident Evil game or something. Oh, can we park here? Nope. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Paralive seems like a lot of fun. Ah, yeah, The Sims kind of just gets content gets cut, so EA can just make more billions off of the. Uh... The Sims is a good game, but it's like I'm tired of uh, you know companies chopping things up to try to present it in a way that ma maximizes their profits. Boring. What's the favorite game we play on live streams? Ah, I don't know. Any game. It's just cool to hang out with chat. Which, by the way, uh, as a reminder, for those of you who are members, or if you haven't yet become a member, uh, since it is the holiday season, I've been dropping mad codes for all sorts of games on our Discord. So if you're not on our Discord, jump on there, and uh, members get a little extra codes because they're extra special. So I've been dropping more codes on the uh, on the Discord for all, all sorts of games, like big and small, new and old. Um, I got some keys for some... As we get closer to... Uh, Christmas, I've been trying to drop some real big stuff for you guys, because I know y'all been going crazy inside. So make sure you jump on the Discord and try to grab one of those. We're supposed to go this way, but where? This seems right. I'm assuming we go left? Wait. Yeah. We need to get up there. Hmm. Didn't we already go this way? Wait, what's that over there? Yeah, it's like Venice Simulator, yeah. There's a sign that points this way. I think we've already gone that way. Oh, what is this? Lily Putt Power. Oh, we're at a giant uh, power plant. Okay. Oh, this this is where we want to go. Oh, never mind. I guess I scared them off. Oops. Well, this is where we needed to go. I guess we're, uh, it's good that we're not at the, uh, Emperor Palpatine power plant. Uh, let's see. Looks like we're gonna have to grab this, there's a platform over there, we're gonna have to grab that with the boat. So let's go back. Tell our little brother we need to grab that little platform. Dude, I think that's so cool how they let you, like, the, the the boy stays with the boat. That That's his baby. He does, you know, he builds and maintains the boat. And she's the little explorer. She's She'll go out and collect all the stuff. They work together. It's cool. Uh, it's a story game. I don't like story games. I like free games. You know, like, 99.9% .9 of games have a story. Like, if, if you only like free games, then you better go, like, play Solitaire? I guess that's Solitaire and Tetris are, like, only two games that don't have a story. Dude, even Pac-Man has a story. Maybe you're just young. When you get older, you really start to, like, 
enjoy story-driven games because they make you think or feel a certain way. Minesweeper? I mean, even Minesweeper has kind of a story. I, I guess the story could just be an objective, like... Dude, Minesweeper? Dude, you're like in a war, bro. Alright, I bet I'll get to the top of this factory before chat gets to 200 likes. Don't even try, chat. I'm too fast. Oh boy, uh, I hope I can make this jump. Do I want to go down or? Yeah, probably. What's down there though? Wait, there's a book here. Oh, she won't jump, jump over to the drain pipe? Damn, I need that book. Uh, all right. We'll have to come back. It won't let me jump back up. Hi, bro. What's going on? Dude, he looks so cool on that boat. He needs to chill out, though. He should sit down and, like, take a little nap. Scrabble has no story. Dude, you can literally write words in that game. You can write your own story. Uh... Expedition. I've never played that game. Uh, Ugenis. Maybe soon. Oh, there we go. I mean story games where they make you do what you want, what they want you to do. Well, that, that's what makes it a story game. Like, dude, Zelda Breath of the Wild has a story, but... I don't know, there's a lot of games that are open-ended where it's just like, here's the world, here's some stuff, go have fun. Like, dude, you know one of the best open-world games I played? It's an old game, but dude, I highly recommend... Like, Steam... Okay, guys, alert. Steam has its Steam sale coming up in, like, a couple of days. Or at least it was hinted at. Um, or Epic has uh, games on sale right now, too, where you can use the code Raptoria at checkout. Don't forget, R-A-P-T-O-R-A. But... Uh, dude, Mad Max was a, an amazing open world game. Mad Max was such a such a good game. It was from 2015, dude. That game is old as hell. At least in, you know, current feelings. But dude, Mad Max 2015 is amazing. That game does not get enough praise and love. That's amazing. It's got a really fun combat system. Kind of plays like the, the Batman games. Oh, the Steam sale just started? Well, there you go. It's, it's like I knew it was coming. Good. Go pick up Mad Max. <laughs> Did it seriously just start? That's awesome. Well, there you go. Yeah, if, uh, if you're going to get anything on uh, the Steam sale, definitely get yourself uh, any of the games you've been seeing me playing lately. But like I, like I always say, Park Attack and American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, City Skylines. You know, those are those are amazing games. However, you should have gotten City Skylines for free on Epic. Also, uh, there's a new free game on Epic today, too, isn't it? Uh, what's the free game today on Epic Game Store? Dude, Mad Max is $4.99 on Steam? Dude, that's less than a meal from McDonald's. Go buy Mad Max, dude. That's an amazing game. Seriously, like you... You freaking drive around a truck... Uh, like a truck through a wasteland. It's, like, it's kind of like this game, you know? Except instead of a uh, boat, you get a car. And you get to fist fight dudes, and there's guns. Oh yeah, Metro. Metro is today. And then what's tomorrow's game? Is there nowhere else around here? Tomorrow has a good game too. I forgot what it is. Dude, Metro 2033. Yeah, I wish I would have played Metro uh, Exodus, but it was like an Epic Game Store exclusive. And I think now because Ep Epic really, really, really made gamers mad. So now they have to spend like the next year for anybody to trust them again. They have to spend like the next uh, the next year and like a mi billions of dollars giving away free games. Dude, I don't know why Steam doesn't do that though. Like, say whatever you want about Epic. How come Steam's not like doing gi big giveaways and stuff? Not giveaways, but f like more free games. Wait, I can't. Oh, I can get up here. But I can't go back the way I came though. 
Stadia has games on sale too. Yeah, I, I would still say Stadia is kind of weird as a platform. I only, uh, I have like this, YouTube wanted me to do some stuff with Google Stadia. So they like gave me like a couple months free of like the pro mode. So it's kind of like um, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Plus or whatever, where you, you pay like a subscription fee, but then you get a bunch of free games. So that's basically what I got. All right, we got to get down there now. How am I going to get over there? I don't know if we went across this way yet. Will I play Cyberpunk? We did. Despite all that game's issues, I really had a lot of fun with Cyberpunk. I thought it was a good game, and I'm really... I feel really bad that all those people put in all that time and effort, um... You know, there, there's definitely some great people who worked on that game. And it is a good game, and it's a shame that it's not... The game itself is good, but the way it work, You know, it's like... I don't know how to compare it to. It's like, um... Somebody made a really good meal, except there's no plates. So, wh whoever forgot the plates... You know, the food is all good, but you have to eat with your hands, and that makes it really difficult, and somebody really goofed up. And, uh, but it's not that the food is bad. Yeah, Cyberpunk, like, was eight years in the making, so it's a real, it's a real shame that there's so many problems. Oh, looks like there's a way to get through here. Uh, the, the code for, uh, Epic Game Store checkout is Raptoria. Yeah, artists controlled by accountants. Yeah, you're right. That's another example of, like, money getting in the way of... Money always gets in the way of creativity, dude. That's why when you see us play uh, Architect, we, we turn money off, so that way everybody can kind of do what they want. Otherwise, every decision has to be money, 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 money. And that just makes things not fun. Like, whenever you see anybody playing City Skylines, and they're building beautiful cities like that, because they probably turn money off and just, like, who cares about the money at that point? You just want to play and uh, see cool mods. Can I go through here? Oh, I can. Sweet. So now we got to go this way? Whoa. Dude, I love this game. They put in so much detail. Like, that's a giant power generator there. Like, I thought this game would be kind of, like, cutesy and stuff, but there's actually a lot of real-world real, real, real stuff they put in here. That's cool. Hunter Call of the Wild. Yeah, we'll probably play that sometime. Just wait. Yes. Gothic 3. Yeah, I haven't really played any of those, like, top-down, uh... I haven't played too many of those, like, Diablo, Baldur's Gate kind of games. I never got into those as a kid. Doesn't mean they're bad, though. The closest thing I played recently was Minecraft Dungeons. And it's like, oh, that is... that is actually really fun. Oh, we can actually, uh, pimp out our arm. She's got, like, this living tattoo. I don't know how to change that, though. Uh... Maybe through the journal? Oh, you can change the style, like the UI or whatever. Wait, equip style. Landmarks, creatures, history, our history. Oh yeah, dude, it actually tells you the story of, like, what's going on in the game. You have to find all that. That gives you incentive, like, the world's kind of like, oh, what happened? So it... Some games, it's like you just get stuff to get it. In this game, it's like you get it to understand what happened. And that's kind of cool. Yeah, Manor Lords will be a fun game. I, I think that means there's an item nearby, but I don't know where to go. Looks like there's a little section over there to parkour to. Okay. Hey, Aaron. How's it going, dude? Yo, welcome aboard to all the new subs, and thanks, chat, for the uh, 200 likes. Appreciate it. 
Sure you guys are okay, I, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go up top. New subscriber shout out. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot we can climb these types of uh, vines and stuff. Nice. Yeah, there's creatures and stuff in this game in the water. We've been finding some of them. Oh, another storybook. Okay. New subscriber shout out. Can we get up there? Looks like there's a ladder on the other side. Is there a way to get up there? New subscriber shout out. Dude, that's so weird seeing all these trees and stuff growing next to like giant communication masts and stuff. New subscriber shout out. New Wait. Shout out. Well, I don't think we can climb on that. Yeah. New subscriber shout out. Now they want me to get up there, but we can't go up there. Whoa, all these new subs. Thanks. Thanks for subscribe. New subscriber shout out. Dude. Oh, that's where we need to get to, up there where the electricity is being made. We need to get up to that little house. New subscriber shout out. Somebody was sleeping up there. Are there more humans? Well, we're playing the game right now, so I guess I guess we'll find out. We're playing this game for the first time, so uh, we'll find out as we play it a little bit more. Ah, there's the way across. <laughs> Build a jetpack. Yeah, that, that'd be easier, wouldn't it? Oh, dude, you can see where they were gathering water. Looks like they were using this for clean drinking water. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, Witcher 3 uh, was a great game too, and that released with a hell of a lot of bugs as well. Not as bad as uh, Cyberpunk, but Cyberpunk had this weird thing where it was like, PlayStation 4 and the older X, those are, those are last generation. Current gen is now PlayStation 5 officially, and the newer Xbox, so anything being made for 4 is last gen. What does this do? Is this a ladder? Oh, it's another door. Dude, this is like a huge map. This area is huge. I thought we'd be here for a few minutes. Yeah, each one of these places is like a little temple. What was that? I just heard a creature or something. Each one of these maps is like a temple in Zelda or something. Well, maybe not that big, but... Mama. Hey, Rajun Gaming, how you doing? Welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Literally unplayable. Did you, did you see that, that brick floating in air before it disappeared? Zero out of ten. Immersion destroyed. Absolutely unplayable. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'll go up top. I like how the game kind of hints at you to like, hey, these red things, you should grab these, but then eventually they kind of like become just regular, regular materials. You know what game uh, did that, by the way? With the re you guys remember Mirror's Edge? Oh yeah, Tropico Five is free tomorrow on Epic, dude. Get Tropico. Oh, uh, get Tropico Six on the Steam sale too. Tropico Six is so good. I love I love those city builders like that. But Tropico is great because it's kind of like, hey, let's be a city builder, but let's be dumb with it. Like let's have fun. Like hey, we know you're this little island nation that just farms corn, uh, but we need you to build an aircraft carrier. It's like, oh man, oh Tropico, you're so funny. Dude, Tropico's awesome, that's why there's six of them. People keep buying them just because they're, they're so funny. Anno 1800, great game, yep. Yeah, that's the problem with games, is you can only play one at a time. 
Is this game only for Stadia? I know it's on Google Stadia, but I don't know if it's only on Stadia. Can someone do a check and see if it's like on Steam or Epic Game Store or GOG or wherever? I don't even know if this is on PS4 or whatnot. The game's great though. Uh, oh, I knew I heard something, but Tropico has not changed much since the first Tropico. What? It has multiplayer now, and there's the islands are huge, dude. If you look at Tropico One versus Tropico Six, there's a there's a difference. Oh, I thought we were gonna slide. What was that? Uh oh. Whoa. We got enemies, boys. We got some crabby crabs. We better stay away from those crabs. Oh, boy. Oh, we can go up top. Yo, members, can we get a spam emote? Alright, let's zip down here. Wait, it's 90% off right now? What game? What game is $1.99? You know what else is on sale right now? Is clicking and tap and join and becoming a member, by the way. That's on sale. Actually, that's always on sale. But don't forget. Ah, that's where we gotta go up there. Ah, we got a Billy Spammer. You think her scarf is distracting? Is it? They're actually using these big seeds as, like, uh, ways to generate electricity. Before we go there, though, let's go up. So people were building, like, these forts on these old buildings. Dude, that's awesome. I don't know how the hell those mangrove trees are growing on a corrugated uh, steel roof, but whatever, I'll go with it. Damn, I need to find one more book. I hope we find it on the way out. Yeah, we're into all sorts of city builders. If the question is, are you going to play, will you play, or do you play, or when is, uh, just check the schedule and also yes. We'll probably play it sometime soon. Can only play one game at a time, unfortunately. We're cursed with only, only two arms. Only two... Two eyes. Hello, sir. Weird. This probably won't open until I get the seed. Yeah, only two eyes step up. All right, well, this is what we're looking for. So these seeds generate electricity, and this is how they've been, like, powering things, which is really weird. Pointing at something, but I don't know what's going on. Black plant got papel, so uh, the plant must have overcome these villagers so quickly. Well, I guess technically this was a power plant, so maybe this uh, black glue or whatever it is was attracted to the electricity. Dude, I need to find one more book. Where could it be? Alright, let me check here. 
There. Last, the last book is over there. I hope I can go down there and get it. Uh, let's see. Dude, where's that book? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I know where it is. Hold on. This looks like Raft a little bit. Yeah. I think the uh, the, the people kind of look like Raft for sure. Wait, can I not go in there? Oh, I thought there was a way to climb in there. Go the other way, girl. Where's the book I'm looking for? What the hell? Alright, maybe it's along our path. If I miss one, we can always come back. Maybe it's towards the end. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh oh. Oh, those are those crabs again. Maybe it's down there. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to check down there. Yeah, this game is the second game in, this, in the series. The first one, uh, you're trying to save your brother. Now he's saved. Can I put this back? Oh, man. Oh, wait, you can just put it down with R. Oh, there we go. I don't know how to get past these crabs, though. I guess they're all bark and no bite. Ah, there's the book. That's what I needed. Get out of here, crabs! Alright, let's see what the story is. We followed him like fools, bedeviled by his charms. What price some seeds of mass when we crave so deeply to conform? Ah, okay, so there was some guy saying, Come with me, I know the secret of the seeds. And then they came here and then their, their place basically fell apart. Yeah, I didn't know there was a sequel to this game until someone told me. I was like, oh, this isn't the first game? Cool. Just means that they had to make a second one because the first one was so good. This almost looks like a train station. Maybe we'll find a cool train station or something. Oh, are we climbing to like the top of a... Excuse me, sir. We're going to like the top of a smokestack. You really love the story of the game? I like it too, Amber. So this was their leader, I guess. Yeah, each area has like a lot of shells that are hidden too. I guess it'd be kind of cool to 100% this game, but it's not going to be easy. Because there is a lot of collectibles. So this is the type of game where you probably beat the main story and then come back and find some other stuff. Yeah, that was Groot. Sniper boy! How you doing? Thanks for the five. Hashtag sniper in chat. Well, that's a smart pl uh, place to build an elevator. Can you get a shout out? Well, you have to place an order, though. Can like I get a shout out? Be sure to click or tap subscribe or become a member today. Do you want uh, Do you want the basic level shout out? Do you want a shout out with cheese? Or do you want the combo shout out meal? But if so, what do you want to drink? Wait, did the new update come out? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Update for this game? Uh, I don't know. This is a part two. This isn't an update. This is actually a sequel. So I guess, yes, it's technically an update because they released the second part of the game. Or like, 
episode two or whatever. Oh, you thought this was Raft? No. Well, Raft is in first person. Oh no, you can play it in third person. Yes, it's the newest Raft update, except it's not Raft. Yay! We've done it, chat! What? The name of the stream tricked you? It doesn't even have the word raft in it. Submerged hidden depths. Surviving and exploring flooded post-apocalyptic megacity on a small boat. It, the first three words are the name of the game. Oh, that's right. Every time you, uh, like, beat an area, it sends you back to the main hub, which is kind of cool. Or maybe a pain in the butt, because if you don't get stuff before you go inside, it teleports you back here. What is the most hardcore game you played? Probably TurboTax. The pair left the safety of the city to seek others who might need their help. Perhaps they could find a new home and a new family. Like at Applebee's in Olive Garden. Because when you're here, you're family. Uh-oh, what is that thing? What the hell? Uh-oh. Girl, leave him alone. He's sleeping. Uh, there's something here in great pain. Okay, sniper boy with the ten. Hashtag sniper boy and chat boys. Let's let's give him that shout out. Thank you for the support. Yeah, we played the new grounded update. We usually play the updates before they come out, like uh, in the um, preview mode or whatever test mode. Well, let's keep rocking. All right, where do we want to go next? Uh. Damn, I should have gotten that upgrade up there. Well, let's go south. The December update is just the pond update, right? We, we already took a look at the pond a while ago. Whoa! Rude, sir. Jeez, I got just T-boned. That, that man met her been a... I hope that whale was insured. Oh yeah, now we can go really fast. Woohoo! That's why you get those boat upgrades. Oh, can we go up there? That's like the Tokyo Tower. Oh, I think we can go up there. Ah, looks like we have to go up there next, too. What is that? Collapsed roadway or something? Dude, the detail in this game is just awesome. Like, look, look at that. Like, I don't know. I just... I try to find the positives in everything. And I'm just impressed with that. Oh, well, looks like there's another seed there. All right, well, that's fine. All right, let's go to the top of the tower. How come I'm not on Twitch? Uh, well, because I have a YouTube channel. Most of my audience is on YouTube, so streaming on Twitch would be... Uh, I guess it would separate me from my main audience. Well, we have a Twitch channel. It's in the description. It just seems weird to stream on both at the same time. What's up, Rick? Welcome back, dude. This is Las Vegas? Maybe. Titan's Reach. What's... What badass names for landmarks? Three out of ten. Too bad those don't, like, reveal the map. Alright, let's get the seed that's behind us. 
That's the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Doesn't to Tokyo Tower look like that? Is isn't that like Tokyo Tower? I this city is made up. I think it's supposed to look like a lot of major cities. Like this is the Tokyo part of the city, and parts of this parts of the map look like L.A. and New York, and like I don't think I don't think Tokyo has uh, pine trees like that sitting in the middle of nowhere. All right, boys, what are we going to find? I think it's going to be a football. It's like Christmas. Oh, a music, like a giant music box. What is that? Hey, uh, members, what, what are those things that we find underwater? They're like... They're chickens, but they swim, and they taste really good. Wow, it's raining now? Wow, there's actually water effects on the screen. That's amazing. Yeah, like, Mc McDonald's makes a filet of it every once in a while. I forget what they're called, though. Oh, look at the birds. Oh, I think we're in Amsterdam right now. Ah, yes. The towering skyscrapers of Amsterdam. What the hell? Did a piece of that building just fall off? Ah, there we go. Whoa. This really reminds me of the Seattle portion of Last of Us. Dude... Say what you want about the story of Last of Us, the world and like the the buildings and what what they made was amazing. It looked really cool. I wish the story was a little different, but it looked amazing. And there was a section in that game where you do go in a boat, so that was pretty cool. Just wait. Uh, swims underwater. Naturally, so it must be the McRib. Oh, yeah, that's true All right, let's jump up top. I should be able to get this next seed before chat gets to 300 likes So don't even try chat. I'm way too fast. Oh, we gotta hide now. Okay Gotta hide in the tall grass from the uh, the scars or whatever they're called the scarabs. I forgot what those religious people were called the the nut jobs I guess that they tried to make Ooh. Well, oh, this one we gotta pull with the boat. Wait, is that a harpoon? Oh no, he's towing it. Okay. So we gotta tow that with the boat. Well, let's go up here first. Careful, careful. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, the world nowadays is just a lot of people just saying, oh, this is, this is like all bad. Like things can't be good or bad. Uh, things can't be like kind of good, kind of bad. They either have to be the best thing ever or the worst thing ever. Like, oh, what the? Yo, 89 Danish kroner from Mice. Also really looking forward to Manor Lords. Been following you since you played Stronghold. Manor seems like a successor to that. Looking forward to uh, watching that with the pack. Dude, that game... The cool thing about Manor Lords is it looks both like Total War and Stronghold together, but also a city builder. You're right. Like, that's... That looks like it's gonna just be... Because Stronghold, to me, is still a city builder. Even though that game has, like, military combat, Stronghold, to me, always felt like a, like a city builder. Kind of like Anno, but on a much smaller scale. Thanks, dude, for the 89. Let's get some hashtag mice in chat. Get out of here, frog. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh. <gasps> she sells seashells down by the seashore. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm supposed to go up there. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? 
Is this going to be like that trap temple from Indiana Jones where I got to put something down? Yeah, let's just put this here. Oh, I noticed our member goal too. I didn't I didn't reset it yesterday from yesterday, but if we do hit our members goal, I'm going to be dropping even more codes on the Discord. So if you want a chance to win our giveaway, make sure you become a member today. And not only is are you eligible for a giveaway just today, but anytime we drop codes on like Discord or whatnot, members get a few extras. So even if you might not win now, there's many chances, extra perks for members and stuff. You got emotes. You got um uh, Members only Discord stuff. Plus, you also get to play games along with me, too, so that's pretty cool. I don't think we can crawl through here. Alright, we gotta get to the other side somehow. You like being eligible? Yeah, you're eligible to be a member at any time if you want. You know what I've noticed a lot is a, a lot of members are coming back, too. Like, some people are members for just a little bit, and then they renew their membership a few months later, and that's really cool. What just opened? I hit a switch, but I heard something squeak. What was it? Hmm. I don't know what I did. Stronghold felt like a fortress builder. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I guess the bridge tipped down. Okay. Did anything else open? Wait. He's down there. Are we supposed to bring the ball to to him? Oh, I need the boat to get across there. So we gotta put the ball in something over there. Will this game be on the Switch? I don't know. Yo, Nintendo's been like a real jerk lately to people. They've been, like, uh, doing stuff to, like, anger their community somehow. Like, I don't know the exact story, but it seems like they've been really making a lot of people mad. Something about uh, Melee and some other community. I, I don't really follow that news as much, but... Like, Nintendo, bro. You work really, really hard to, like, make a community that people like. Don't be... don't be a buttface. Yo, Morton! Hashtag Morton. Thanks for becoming a Raptor Hatchling, your first member for today. Don't forget to jump on that Discord, man. Enjoy your new emotes. Let's get some fishies in chat for our new lovely member. Good. Yeah, Nintendo's just kind of... I think because of the pand... I don't know what the story is, but I think it's something where, like, people were trying to do... Nintendo really has this, like... They really get weird about legality. So, like, any time that um, they try to host an event or something like that, because of the pandemic, Nintendo, people aren't meeting in, in person, so they're doing things over the internet. But they're modifying games, so I think that's what's making Nintendo mad. I'm probably completely wrong, but I... Th I think it has something to do with somebody doing something Nintendo could chill about, but they're not chill. Nintendo needs to chill is basically what it is. Okay, so now we can roll through here. Now we can toast up with the boat again. There we go. Oh, that was a big ass fish. Ooh, that's a big fish. Uh, you're welcome, my favorite streamer. Just so chill to watch. Yeah, dude, we got, like, again, we'll never have the biggest community on YouTube. I won't I won't ever be anywhere close to being the biggest, but we got the best. Vatana Hotel. Or Va Vatna. Vatna Hotel. Alright, dude, well, now we've unlocked the hotel. Now we gotta go explore this. It's gonna be cool. There must be people still alive in this world, dude. Like, there's... The fish is rotting, but it looks still relatively intact.
Oh, looks like people were sleeping here too. Like, look, they got pillows and blankets. Yeah, there's definitely people here. They must be subscribers to the channel because they definitely got hooked. Yeah, Nintendo gets a little salty about their IPs like Mario and stuff. It's like, Nintendo, just stop. It's not like you're not going to get billions of dollars from people buying Animal Crossing and Pokemon. Just chill. Ooh. Before we grab that, let's look around for stuff. I knew it. How's it going? Going good. Man, this storm is picking up, man. Oh, uh, well, let me go back there. Curse you, invisible walls. I thought we got rid of you in PlayStation 2. Alright, so we gotta go that way. Oh no! I've lost all my fans. No. Oh, this really blows. Sorry, Dutch fans. Pre oh no. My Dutch fans are very upset. Look at they're going insane. <laughs> no. No. Well, let's take the elevator down. Oh, or up. Oh dude, we're going to the top of the hotel. Bro, we're going to the penthouse suite. We're moving up in the world. Holy crap. Whoa, that's a tall elevator. Yeah, that was that was faster than like a real life elevator. Crazy. Oh, it's all wet up here. Um, can I go through this? Frog. Heck W. Can I get up there with it? Oh, cool. Nice. I think the reason why those people look like plants is that the the plants are like remembering that there were people here and it's kind of like how a parakeet Im imitates people. The plants are like the the plants remember people or something, I don't know. Man, we got to get all the way up there. this? Oh, a ladder. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, 
Man, they're having us go a long way out of our way to find a book. There it is. I guess we could also, like, use the um, spyglass to find them, but... We already got, what, half of them now? It's three. There must be more at the top. Yeah, this is the new Tomb Raider, yep. Except the tomb is a, you know, top floor of a giant hotel. Dude, this is, this is a really underrated game, man. There's a lot going on. Giant hotel in a downtown area with a huge rainstorm. This is lit. Uh, have you heard that plant scream when you cut them? Yeah, that's true. They actually do make a noise if you if you cut a plant. They do scream. If you ever cut the lawn before, you you probably just haven't noticed it because the lawnmower is so loud. I'm just kidding. The MLI building. Whoa. Oh yeah, I've been on that before actually. In our first video, we go there to that giant boat that apparently plowed into a building, but also... <laughs> we can see everything from here. Can I get back up there? Well, that one frog was just like, nope, I'm out. Let's try going over here. Uh, up, maybe? Yeah, this girl's strong. She's strong. You have to be strong if you're going to open those ramen packets. They ain't easy to open. Sometimes you almost need a blowtorch. We have ourselves another book. I guess we just go back now. Damn, some of these trees are like redwoods that have grown here for thousands of years. Parkour. Oh, yeah. Good old parkour skills, boys. Ooh, chat's almost up to 300 likes. Oh, I, gotta get, I gotta get to the top of the tower before chat gets to 300. Oh, wait, I'm kind of tired out now. I need to take a drink. Don't worry. I'll still beat chat, though, even though I'm taking a, a side break right now. Hold on. Yep, any second I should make it to the top. Hmm. All right, keep on climbing. Wait, it looked like there was something here. Oh, wait, what? There's like a giant light coming out of that building? Weird. This guy who broke into a bank to make a hot pocket? What? That makes me want to play more Payday. 
Dude, so they so Left for Dead 3 is basically coming out called Back for Blood. I hope they make another payday and call it something else or or whatnot. Or they make a payday three. That'd be amazing. Ah. Looks like they were trying to save this plant. Or something. What, what are they trying to do? Like they were running around trying to do something. The poor people, did they somehow bring this on themselves? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, almost to the top of the building. Aha. Uh -huh. You wait here. Mostly for now, I just want to get all the books. And then we can come back and get all the shells. Alright. We got it. Got it, boys. Yay! Oh, dude, we only got five more to go. Five more. Payday is now called Salary Cycle. Dude, whenever I hear the word salary, I just think celery. sleepy what's going on oh this also tells us more of the story too steadfast and stubborn the sister guided them to far off places but in time they found no matter where they went the pattern was the same she's got this cool thing on her arm that's like a GPS or something. Portaku, I never meant to drag you into this. Okay. Well, that's the brother's name is Taku. Taco? Taco Bell? Oh my goodness, it all comes together now. The story's starting to make sense. A world without drive through otherwise known as an apocalypse. I think this is about 10 or 15 minutes after they shut down the last drive through the world just went to hell. All right, bro. Let's go. Looks like there's a book piece to the north, so there's probably a thing up there to explore. Looks like I also missed one here. Let's go behind us. Yo, what's up, Justin? Welcome. You need tacos and ramen? Yeah. There's a book up there, but how do we get up there? Another relic, it seems.
Okay. Four out, four out of twenty relics, lol. Oh, oh, now we get to play as the dude. Sister deserves a break. I'll do the exploring this time. Oh, dude, he gets different music. Dude, this kid's cool. Oh, I wanted to see his uh, tattoo. I don't know what to make of it though. It's awesome. All right, let's go to. Uh, well, let's go up, I guess. What's the good word? Today's good word is W. The letter W. Dude, how do I go to the options screen? I want to, like, turn up this music. Dude, he's got, he's got badass music, man. Moving on up, boys. Whoa. Uh. Oh, this one should be pretty easy to get to. I think it's up there somewhere. Hold on, wait a minute. I don't see the green marker anywhere. Is this not a... Maybe this doesn't have a seed in it? Maybe there's something else here? Well, we couldn't take the former, so I guess we'll just take the latter. That's fine. Okay. All right, we're going down now. Damn. The coolest and most underrated thing in video games has probably got to be like um, level design. Like, it's so cool to figure out, like, okay, so the the purpose of this game is kind of the same every time. Like, get to the end of these little temples and discover the seed, but it's like, okay, but you have to make it different every time so it's still fun and engaging. It's got to be the same so that way the player knows what to do, but it's got to be different so it doesn't just seem copy-paste. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, the, the good old... Uh, Nathan Drake games, you know, for Uncharted. It's like, the goal was always the same, just get to the end of the thing, but sometimes you'd have to use your gun, other times you'd have to solve a puzzle, sometimes there was parkour. What the hell? Damn it, I just came back to the boat. I went in reverse? I thought I was going somewhere else. Damn it, I didn't realize that's where we were going. Son of a... Oh my goodness. Alright. All right. Well, now we get to hear more of this cool music. I had no idea I was going to reverse. Where, where am I going, though? Where, what am I looking for? I just see a page here, but I can't see where it is. Oh, my God. So we got to go that way up and then where? Across? But I went up there. It's a dead end. Yes, first try.
Like, I, I can hear there's an object nearby, but I don't know where. Okay, there's people in the building. Um... I guess I just got turned around, okay. Oh, that's what I kept here in the boat part there. Okay. I can hear objects, yeah. Something nearby. And that was it, I guess. There's what we're looking for. Is this a recipe book? All nearby objects discovered. Oh. So he does these little side objectives or whatever. But there was another book over there somewhere. Yeah, there's a book over, th over there somewhere. This, was, this is what happens to the plant if we go vegan. Yeah, the, the plants will take over. I like how the weather changes. Last night it was raining hardcore. Uh, let's go back this way. Okay. Looks like there's another storybook to the north. Actually, wasn't there a... Yeah, right there. Alright, boys. Some more upgrades. Woo! I think we're going to need those upgrades for something. We can go awfully fast. Let's get this relic over here. Alright, what are we going to find, boys? We're going fishing. A clock? Well, it's about time. Alright, let's go to uh, Relic over here. Amber, you think we're going to find a horse? Are you crazy? Alright, let's go up top. Okay, I think the brother's gonna go up there again. A seahorse? Oh, dude, it's cool how we get to play as the bro for a while. Glad he's just not like a secondary character or something. You get to use them both. Get up there, kid. There you go. So there just must be random diaries, too, that are just strewn about the world. Ah, we found our next target. Hi, Thurston. Ooh, there's a landmark there. Is that a... Is that a roller coaster track or something? Uh-oh. Architect flashbacks intensify. Alright, let's go over there. 
Uh, Submerged was a game that was out in 2015. This is called Submerged Hidden Depths. So this is a sequel to a game where you see the, the gash on this kid's stomach. In the first game, apparently he's wounded and his sister kind of like takes care of him for a while or brings him to somebody who heals him or something like that. That's part of the first game. And now in this game, we get to play exploring the world a little bit more. I don't know much about the first game, so... Yeah, that's a deep gash, too. That kid's got a really big scar. His sister did a good job taking care of him. Is this similar to Windbound? Um, no, because we're not... Like, we don't have to eat, and I don't think there's any upgrades for the characters or anything, but uh, there is exploration, which I'm, I'm all for. I don't mind if I'm just exploring and upgrading the boat and stuff. That's the third character in the game. There's the brother and the sister and the boat. Yeah, Windbound was cool, but I really wish they had some kind of a major open world that didn't refresh every time. It was still a cool game. Sorry you weren't there yesterday. Oh, I know. Yeah, I saw I saw what they did to your cannon. So, yesterday I've decided, Thurston, you're you're just incredible at making landscapes and stuff. I want to do something again with you guys where we make like a Kind of like a German ski resort, except it's summertime. So we'll make like an alpine uh, alpine roller coaster and um, do some other stuff. Parkitect's too good, dude. A lot of you guys... Oh, if the Steam sale started today, go get Parkitect. That is another... That's another great game, like I mentioned before. Steam sale should, should have started, right? You guys were telling me Steam sale's on. Free game on Epic Game Store today, too, by the way. Metro 2033. And I think tomorrow it's Tropico 5. Which I'm definitely going to get that game. I love the Tropico games. Alpine Slides. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll do that for Thurston's bachelor party. We'll take him to uh, Austria or Switzerland and let him ride on some rides. Steam sales on. There you go. Okay, confirmed. I was the least attractive one. Well, you can get it for free tomorrow. Dutch breathing intensifies. Wow, this place was a little bit more hidden. Columbia Gardens. Oh, that's literally the name of the building, too. What is that symbol? Oh. Okay, we need to do something with this rock. Is there anything back here? Oh, I guess I can't go back there. Alright. Nice. Okay. Oh, the Metro franchise has no discount. Yeah, Steam's Steam sales have been getting like worse and worse. Steam has more competition than ever, and they're not like Steam really needs to do some more to pick up the pace to be above Epic. Like they're Steam is much more preferred than Epic, but I think they should really do a lot more to like um, compete now. Like do even bigger discounts and do do a free game every once in a while. 
Like, I think the last time I saw a free game on Steam was, like, maybe... Um... It was probably, like, uh, Total War Shogun 2 uh, years ago. What is this? Seems to be a ventilation fan or something. Is Epic any good compared to Steam? Well, they're trying to become better and they're trying to get a larger market share, so that's why they're offering all these games for free. And they're trying to become more... Um, more competitive, so they're doing things that are just unheard of. Hmm. I don't know where to go with this. GOG is doing the same? Well, that's good. Yeah, Steam needs some competition, but I hope that means that Steam, like... Like, the whole community aspect of Steam is a wonderful. Like, there's so many Steam reviews, and... There's a really good sense of community on Steam, but... And screenshots and stuff, so you can see games much better. But I think, uh... Epic and other places are kind of afraid of that. Because that takes the power away from the platform and, and gives it to uh, the player and they don't... That's a scary thing because then you don't have control. And they wouldn't like that. Alright, let's go find out where this goes. Looks like there's two bridges that open, but this is the only one we can open. Man, everybody's so sad and desperate in this game. Everyone's just sitting around and... So it looks like there was two warring clans. Maybe they were fighting each other? I don't know why she just didn't jump from there. It's like a whole extra step. Okay. Wait a minute. Penguins! I think I'm supposed to bring a... I think I'm supposed to bring a thing up here. I have no idea where we're going right now. The books are going to be hidden in this one. We're going to have to find those. I think I hear another one. I guess we're going on up. Yo, we're getting close to that member goal, boys. We're getting close. Is that Pinto Bless? Is that woman doing Pinto Bless?
pretty sure. She must be a member. Hair dryers hanging from the ceiling? Oh yeah, looks like all these people were spamming uh, Pinto Bless. That's what it was. Yeah, I guess we go up top. I wonder why they called an office building Columbia Gardens. Seems like a a place that you'd Oh, seems like a park's name, not a building's name. Well, there's a ladder here. Aha. Uh -huh. Company's name? Columbia Gardens? You think there's a company out there called Gal Columbia that designs gardens that needs an office building? Oh, a luxury apartment. That could be. Alright, that makes sense. It seems a little more like an office building. But you could be right. Seems like there's a lot of hair dryers around here. Okay, we'll go up there in a minute. Ah, uh, Thomas Hansen. How you doing, dude? Thomas with the 20. Hey, Raptor, I'm back. Do you remember me? Oh, I think we do. What the hell is all that? Tons of hair dryers and blenders and stuff. What the hell? Yeah, hashtag Thomas in chat, by the way, for the big O support. Thank you very much. Hmm. I guess we'll go back this way. Oh no, this I have to go up myself. I can't take this with. Oh, this guy had a blender up here for himself. Looks like we're missing the first two. Have I played this before? I played one episode of this when it came out, and I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to come back and play more. This game's really fun. No, no, no. Darn it, I wanted to pick up the seed. There we go. All right. Maybe we go that way. I guess the good thing about living up here is you can get fresh water from all the uh, buildings capturing rainwater, but I don't know how they're going to get food. They'd have to go down to fish, I guess. Oh, oops, I thought that was a... I thought that was a basket. 
We're missing two books. They've got to be down somewhere. Oh, I think I see one right there. No, we got that one. There's one inside the building. I guess gardening would work, yeah. Some plants need soil, though. Oh, another radio tower, too. Did he die? Yes. Died to death. All right, there we go. That's what we wanted right here. Big W. We did it, chat. Another win. Another one. There's so many side things to find in this game. It looks like they found people. At first they were welcomed, greeted with open arms and treated as kin. The brother began to believe that perhaps his sister could be right. I'm sorry, Taku, I have to do this for both of us. What? What are we doing? Where's all the stuff we've been finding? Isn't there supposed to be a gallery of our relics? Must be up there somewhere. What's up, bro? Where's the boat? There it is. Uh, let's go south and get that other no, one to the south. Looks like there's a weird source of light coming out of there. You just checked out the Ancient Cities video. Awesome. Good to see. Thanks for the support. Sounds like there's something up there. Didn't we already go here? Yeah, the bats, the bat signal, I guess, is over here. 
Ah, this is the building that's tipped over. Yep, starting to remember this now. I can't go in there, though. Wait, wait, can we? No, I don't think we can go down there. Maybe we can creep in through some of these cracks here. Ah, there we go. We found our way in. Good, an upgrade for the boat. There we go. The jo the Jostra Jostra Incorporated. Just wait. Yes. All right. Looks like sisters back on the uh, the prowl again. Yeah. If we don't find all the journals, we can always like look for them with the spyglass. I'm assuming if we beat the game, the whole map will probably be revealed and then you can just go find what you may have missed. Because there's definitely going to be things we're going to miss. We can always come back to just explore. Let's see. Oh dear. Okay, we got some. Yeah, the water effects are nice. Very good stuff. Man, I want to find all the books. But this is definitely a game where you're going to have to probably come back to find something that you missed. A little, little cleanup. Can't go down there. Oh, we get back up here. There we go. Thomas with the 200 Swedish kroner. Happy uh, Yod... God Yol. God Yol? God Yol. God Yol. Uh, may the force be with you from Thomas in Gothenburg, Sweden. Taxamika, bro. I've been to Gothenburg. I like Lisa Berry. I've been to Gothenburg like twice. Some very good friends living in Gothenburg. And apparently the best best fish in all of Sweden. Is the black plant mocking its victims with these echoes? Victims, oh boy. Thanks, man. Hashtag Thomas in chat. Show him some love. Oh, some TVs are here. Old school TVs.
This guy's like making dinner. Uh, let's see. Ah, here's all the electricity. Oh, they had some sort of a church here or something. Yet another book. Looks like we missed a couple. Luckily things aren't hard to get to, it's more like a, hey, where did they hide it? Sometimes you just gotta find like a little a ledge or something. Gotta find out where more of these ledges are. They're always hiding somewhere. Like maybe over here. Ooh. Or is this where we came up? Wait a minute. Never mind, I see a book. You wait here. Yeah, the, the title, Hidden Depths, makes me feel like we should be going underwater at some point, but I, I don't think we do that yet. But I don't know. Although, I don't think the story will end when we find all of these little seed things. I think it's only just beginning. be another book around here somewhere. Yeah, they changed some of the English language for this game, which is kind of neat. Because there's no one really to teach it. Another 200 from Thomas. Uh, we all, we all were our super country with you, Mr. Raptor. Have a good Yule. Got, got not R. 2021. Yeah, good year. He's saying good night. But yes, thank you. Appreciate your support, bruh. Hashtag Thomas again. Okay, looks like that's the way out. And that's the way we went up. Man, the shells are probably the hardest thing to find, but... I want to find that extra book. I want to know more about the story. Luckily, we could find him with the spyglass. But I guess it's a different story once you're um, in the building. you got to find exactly where they, they have hidden it. Dude, we just got three more. Three more, boys.
Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm assuming once we complete the game, it'll show us where everything is and we can go get it. But it's still kind of hidden because sometimes you gotta find, like, the right ledge or a small pipe or something in the game to, like, climb up or down. Whenever Sister's gift was revealed, friendship quickly gave to fear. Rough words were spoken and hopes were dashed. Uh oh. That's fine. You think those are crab people? I feel the monster's pain, its anguish and guilt. Is that what I could become? Wow, that is a negative attitude, Kitagara. Alright, I think we should go... south to that other book. I want to keep getting more uh, books, but they're all hidden so well. We got everything in that tower, right? Whoa! Is that thing actually looking for us? What the hell? I don't want anything to do with that thing. Uh, no thank you. Dude, that thing's- is that thing actually looking for us? Buy it down, whale. Don't sell me out, damn it. Dude, whatever that thing is, it, I think it actually is like Shadow of the Colossus. It's going to attack us. That's a, that's a big nope. I guess that's why you get the engine upgrade, so that thing can't get you. That thing's looking around for us. Oh my god. Are we going to find a new member down here? I hope so. Come on, new member. Come on, someone to join us. New member, new member. Come on! Uh, I have no idea what that was. Was that like a printing press or something? You're talking about the Cthulhu monster? Yeah, I have no idea what that thing is. It, yeah, it kind of looks like a... Kind of Cthulhu. But it looks like it's got long hair. I, I have no idea what that is. Oh, we have to break one of these down again. Hopefully that thing doesn't come around here. Oh, it's look... Dude, it's, it's definitely looking for us. That thing is definitely going to eat us or attack us or something. Alright, I guess this one's brother's turn. Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. It looks like it's on fire or something.
Yeah, these graphics are really cool. The art styles. Very nice. Oh, there's the book we're looking for. I don't know where we find the rest of those books, though. All nearby objects discovered. Okay, before we go out and deal with that creature, I don't know where we're going to go next. I don't know where there's more. <clears throat> there must be some in, like, the southeast part of the map. Thomas with another hundo. Hope the mankind will survive this plague. I know. Same in this game, too. Things have gotten rough. Hashtag Thomas yet again for that top tier support. I would say there's one up there, but I know I already got that one. There we go. We got our next destination. So I guess the orange light just shows where a seed is. that boat upgrade. Boat upgrades to our right. So let's go get that. Seems like that creature might only come out at nighttime. Maybe. Alright, another seed. And a lookout point. Okay, um... Well, let's go to the lookout point. Is it this thing? Yep. Skirt! Gavin with the 499 saying Merry Christmas. Well, same to you, Gavin. Thank you very much. And uh, hopefully a, a, a happy new year to everybody. Although I believe 2021 is just... Uh, January 1st, 2021 is just going to feel like uh, January 1st, 2020, part two. I really don't want to be uh, so negative and stuff. It'll be a new year, but I don't think anything's going to change anytime soon, unfortunately. Hashtag Gavin. Uh, does the game pause when you open the map? I think so. Wow, that is beautiful. Oh, seven items were added to the map. Ooh. Okay, see, yeah. Going to those lookout towers is incredibly important to find those story pieces. And there seems to be ten of those. However, the lookout towers are really hard to find. We've only found a few. Okay, well, there's our next seed. Would be nice if the lookout tower showed you everything that you could see with a spyglass. That's a giant satellite dish. We're not supposed to go there? Okay. Pennsylvania, Ohio, Nebraska. Okay. Oh, well, it's out during the day. Ooh, big nasty's got a big old gaping face. Oh, are those teeth? I think there's like teeth underneath that that head. 
Or is it just a giant mouth? Oh, we gotta stay the hell away from that thing. It's going over that way, so we should probably go here. I don't want to go very far. That is, that is horrifying. That thing is ugly. U-G-L-Y, that thing ain't got no alibi. You ugly. All right, bro, fire up the boat, let's go. Okay, so we just want to go to our left. What's up, Noise Green? At least we've lived through all these times and been blessed enough to experience the trials and tribulations of the world. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. Okay, we gotta get up in this building, but where? Mice with the 45. Uh, this game feels like Waterworld. It needs some NPCs and a pimpin... Oh, yeah! The Costner Catamaran. We'll be playing this uh, tomorrow and between Christmas or holiday. Oh yeah, dude. I'm gonna keep on gaming. With with everything that's going on, family hasn't been doing much this year, so I'll see some people, but it's not gonna be uh, anything uh, that's gonna take me away from you all for too long. Dude, I like I like hanging out with you guys. We're gonna keep on doing that because it's fun. Yo, if anybody's subscribed to it, it should be popping up on the screen, but if you, uh, if you've subscribed, thanks very much. A shout out to all you. I, I know some of you guys sub and it doesn't pop up because YouTube's weird that way, but if you just subscribed or whatever, welcome. Good to see you here. Thanks for dropping in. Did I just say fun? Demonetized? Yeah, that, that is true, too. The more fun I have, the less YouTube is... YouTube can detect fun. It wants artificial... Now, just like all the food that you eat and stuff, the, the highest selling food isn't the best for you. It's just the one that's marketed the most and has artificial flavors. Like, there, there's no marketing for the good stuff, right? Like, there, there's no there's no apple commercial. There's no commercial for broccoli or spinach or bananas. It's always ads for like G Fuel and Coca Cola and like Stouffer's holiday stuffing. You don't have to. You don't have to advertise the good stuff. You already know it's good. But there's just something that seems boring about. Uh, there's something boring about broccoli. Although I love myself some broccoli, y'all. Where did I get these cool shades? They're like Minecraft shades. It's my it's my my thing. Wearing sunglasses every stream because we cool here. All right, where are we going? What is that? An alligator? Or a giant? Oh, is that a giant iguana? What is that? Come here, I just want to love you. It was it was one of my people. Uh, a couple of games to recommend to me. Uh, Pray for the Gods and Death Stranding. Dude, I played Death Stranding. That game is awesome. That is such a cool game. A lot of people dismiss that one as you're just why it's just a walking simulator, which yeah it is. Because they're you're you're playing a delivery man during a, a global like a global apocalypse. You you're basically playing a UPS man in in today's world. It's a that is a good game. You think that was a kimono dragon? I guess you weren't lying. Go now. Yeah, Death Stranding's awesome. If you if you got it on PS4 or whatnot, that's cool, but it is available now on PC. Death Stranding is just a cool game, dude. There's act it's really cool that you actually have to walk and plan out your route in that game. So it's a little bit like... It feels a little bit like ATS and Euro Truck. Just wait. Aki. Death Stranding got a cyberpunk update. Well, that sounds cool. 
Yeah, they added a few things in because Kojima liked the game too, so. Yeah, hopefully they get that mess figured out in the next year. It certainly hasn't been easy to finish any sort of game this year at all. So that's where we come out. Oh, that seed's right there. That one's not really detected very well. Well, let's do this. Bunch of shock vacs. Well, that sucks. All right, let's go to... Oh, I don't think she can go jump across gaps with this thing. Oh, she can. It's three. I want more books. Let's go. Wait, what was up here? Oh yeah, okay, so we gotta circle around this way. So, let's go up top. Yeah, now we're playing a delivery person. I think this is like our... We just gotta do two more after this and we're done. Monster Miku said. It looks like... That's it right there. Uh, this year has been a bunch of buggy early access alpha titles. Beta version 4.0, etc. Yeah. Where do we gotta bring this thing? see a ton of zip lines but they all go down there's a book over there though so we have to go there get out get out of the way sir okay sir all right another book Looks like there was a storm. Uh, you ju just joined. What is the goal of the game? Uh, it's to collect these big green seeds and put them back into these plants. But we're also like exploring. And there's also a giant creature out there trying to kill us now. It's like out there walking around. I wonder if we can see him. We gotta watch out for it. I don't. I don't know where it is. I'll go to another lookout point. Great. Yeah, you can see books that we lost before too. Oh, there's a creature out there somewhere. It's huge. Okay, let's go down here. Oh, there it is. There he is. Yeah, he's out there looking for us. We gotta, like, hurry up. So, we certainly don't want to die. The thing I really want to find is these books to know more about the story. 
But, uh, I've been mentioning we probably come back and find any that we may have missed. Yeah, those are some big ass fish, man. Some big fish. Big, big fish. Uh, payday. Wait, payday and two have an hour, so maybe there's some Christmas presents? Oh, wait, you're. Wait, are you saying that there's a payday 2 update in a half hour? I want to play me some more payday 2. We got to get striking on some more games. I've noticed that, like, I, I think of the people that I play games with, I think, like, Thurston is probably the most creative out of everybody. And, um, Booster, Alex, and Shrike are, like, the most, like, like, mission-oriented. Like, if you give them a task or a goal, they can go right for it. But if you ask me and, like, Shrike and everybody else to be creative, it's, it's a little harder for us to do that. Thurston's really good at just, like, just, just doing something from nothing. Oh, we gotta find another one of those weights. Okay. Oh, there's the ball, too. Must be a book down here, then. Oh, no, it's a new flower. There's not too many of those hidden in the game. Only uh, six more to go. He's got payday in 2.5 hours, and there may be some presents for Raptor. I do want to play Payday 2 again, actually. We gotta play that some more. Prince of Persia equals Mist? Um... Uh, the puzzles in this game aren't, aren't so much like Mist. However, they are doing a Mist remake. Again. What's up, bird nerds? Ooh, there's something shiny down there. Okay, before I go across the bridge, let's go back down. Wait. Want to go this way. Okay, so that's back where we came. Good. You just tuned in? Good. Welcome. Yo, one in chat from everybody who's got that notification bell turned to all, by the way. Most of you uh, are coming to these streams because you actually get the notification. Four years ago, YouTube made the whole, like, uh, notification system, which essentially set all channels back to, like, zero subscribers, which is like, dude... If somebody subscribes to a channel, it's because they want to see more of that, not because they don't want to see more. I have to check all my favorite channels all the time just to see if they've uploaded, and they usually do, and I don't get the notifications. So it's like, if I don't look on my own, I would have never known. YouTube, why you do this? Am I able to get across here? How are we going to get over there? Maybe we leave this here? Uh, what's my favorite channel? Uh, food channel? T food network? Wait, where are we? 
we supposed to go here? Oh, okay, there we go. Good eats, yeah, that's a good show. Love me some good eats, y'all. Well, this explains that crazy convoluted uh, way that we saw to go back here. So we have to get that little basket and go back across. Can't pick that up again, so we gotta bring this. Yeah, Elton Brown is cool. See that that show is great because it was like Bill Nye, uh, Good Eats was like Bill Nye meets uh, cooking show. So he'd tell you why food reacted a certain way, like what slow cooking a roast does, like how the how the roast actually responds to heat, how the muscle tissue and all that responds to t temperature. At a certain degree for a certain amount of time. Okay. We got one more book to go. Uh, there's a book here too that I missed where up there I oh, will come back and get him the biggest thing is to reveal the whole map so we can figure out where all of them are Okay, one more to go. Let's see how this ends, boys. We're approaching the end. Do they really think it's safe staying here with that giant creature looking for them? In each village, they were pers uh, pursued and cast out until finally desperate to explain the brother was hurt. Well, that's that's nice. Okay, we have one more to go. We still got to go to a lot of watchtowers to reveal the map. And there's still a lot of those books left, too. That's what I do. I do all the seeds first, then I do the books. And then probably all the upgrades and stuff, too, along the way. The biggest pain to find is probably going to be the flowers. And the, uh... Maybe some of the landmarks.
The giant's name is Karen. I see. I understand now. It all makes sense. Let's save our boost just in case that thing comes back around. No? Okay. Yeah, that's Susan looking for uh, any content she can monet. Actually, it's funny. Like, for the longest time, YouTube was demonetizing everything. YouTube's like a big, dumb, slow creature. Like, video bad, must demonetize. Rrr, yellow circle everything. And it's like, wait, money good. Quadruple the ads. Quadruple the ads. And all the YouTubers are like this. Su Susan, why? Why? Uh, why? How about just monetize everything, but don't put 40 ads on it? Like, maybe one or two? Is that enough for you, Susan? You know, like, if I do this live stream later, there's probably going to be, like, what, two two or three ads on a three-hour video? Like, it, that's not that bad. God, could you imagine watching three hours of a... Like, imagine if you could watch Netflix for free, but you'll, you had to watch, an, like, two ads every hour. That's not that bad. What is that over there? Wait, what is... is it, oh, is that a boat part? Or a relic? Sometimes they're, like, hidden inside. Oh, it's a relic. Cool. It's a winch. Too bad we can't actually use that winch. Uh, Hulu, not Hulu Premium. The commercials are way too frequent. I'll never not have Hulu Premium. Too many commercials. The Saichin Sy Cathedral. Okay. This game really makes me want to come uh, come back and like 100% everything. Like find every book, find every flower, find every uh, relic and landmark. Ah, that'll work. Bah, 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 bah. Money equal good, evil suppressive control equal better. Oh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, money's good, so how do we get more money? Well, if we take away the things we don't like. Well, that That's the thing with certain economies and stuff, is that the, the answer to all questions and problems is uh, more. How much is enough? Uh, no, more. Mr. Bezos, you've earned every dollar on the planet except for one. What are you going to do now? I got to get that last dollar. Like, that's how it works. Seal! I guess we've already discovered that. I couldn't document that one. Yeah, I tried to post a video today. YouTube tried to put eight, like, eight ads on a, like, a 40-minute video. It's like, no. Now, now it's just doing it automatically. You
You know, I, I think if you guys become a member, too, that uh, you shouldn't have to watch ads on the channel anymore, either. Like, if you become a member, you shouldn't see ads on my channel anymore. Just like YouTube Premium, except it's just for that channel. That would be cool. Governor more. Yeah, that's the answer. The answer is always more. Damn it, I keep trying to press E on him, but he goes too fast. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too, is to document all the creatures. There's a lot to do in this game. Document all the creatures. Find all the relics. The thing is, to document them, you gotta get real close to them. But not scare them. Okay, we're close. Getting close to the end here. Half the creatures are discovered. Got to find all the shells, too. My goodness. So much to do. I hope we get to go inside this building. It's like it would be huge on the inside. Yeah, the huge monster thing. I know. I know he peeking. Not much I can do though, other than hide. Sir, could you not right now? I don't know if he can attack me unless I'm in the water. We'll find out. Hi. Are you going to attack me or what? Let's see what happens. This is uh, Dark Souls all of a sudden. Oh, I can hear a bunch of phone calls. New phone, who dis? I think that's just a Taco Bell. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, he's gone. He left. Is it because it's daytime or because I have the seed? He's just like, alright, I'm out. I'm a head out. He just did some creepy staring and breathing. Damn, did I miss another book? Yep, there's one there. Well, we're close to plugging it in. We'll come back for all the books later. Nothing stopping us from coming back. Unless we got to fight that creature at some point.
There it goes. Yeah, I don't know if that thing would attack us in the water. I, I think it attacks you in the boat. But he didn't really seem to do anything when we were up there. If we're going to have a gi giant boss battle, that would have been the, the time for it to happen. Isn't there a book piece here? I thought there was a book piece up here. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I don't know if I can get up there from here, though. Well, that seems to be how to get up there. You'd go up, slide to the left, climb up, and then go right. There must be a way to get up there later, then. Maybe that's a drop-down point. Must be a way to get up there. Some of these you might actually like have to come back for. Maybe they want you to come back on purpose. Hmm. Let's leave this here for a second. Oh boy. Yeah, there's boat upgrades, so I assume the boat helps you to uh, escape if you get the upgrades. Yeah, there's the last piece. That's weird though, because to get the book piece before this, we would have had to have gone past the plant, so you would have had to come like, come down and then gone back up somehow? Unless you're just supposed to do it on, like, a second playthrough. Can we get Raptor to a million subs before Christmas? Well, we can get close. If everybody watching now subscribes, we're getting there. Alright, well, we can always come back. Let's see what happens. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, the children were forced back to the loneliness of the waves. The sister wept for her failure and for the fickleness of humankind.
What you doing, bruh? You just chilling? Miku fexate of an F Miku day. What now? What don't we have all the seeds? Wait, I don't have them all. I mean, I meant on the map. I thought I had the. I I thought we had them all on the map. Uh, let's see. There's probably one down here in the lower right corner. We barely gone there. Let's go that way. Time for a friendly conversation with the monster. He disappeared at some point. I don't know why. Oh, I can hear him again. Oh no, that's a whale. It should come out at daytime, but I have no idea where it could be. Maybe it'll ambush us on the way to the last seed. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Things moving all slow. Yeah, it's got to be the right way. No thank you to that. Hold up, I'm a I'm a pull up right quick and skirt skirt off with some booty. Here comes some booty. What do we got? It is a Hell, is that a coffee grinder or a globe? What the hell? The creature's gone. Oh yeah, we haven't driven over here. This has got to be the where the last seed is. Yep. And that big fortress thing. What is that, man? In terms of subscribers, what is enough? Uh, just one more. If we get one more subscriber, that's all I want. All right, well, now we're going on into Last of Us 2 territory. Ugh. Oh, raining again, too. back in all right chat this is the last one we're gonna need a bunch of pinto blessing chat give me your energy we got to go for that last seed let's end this game let's see what's waiting for us
All right, let's see what we got, boys. Oh, it's storming like crazy out there. It's going to be a big ending. That'll do. All right, where do we get on board? All right, here we go. This is it. Or what? Thwaite Center? Oh, it's like the CN Tower. Well, this might be the end of the main story. There's still a lot of stuff to collect. And if I... And taking my time to get everything, uh... Well, even if we got everything from the main story areas, there's still a lot of other areas that we didn't go to. That the, uh, brother needs to go to. Maybe we need to pull this down with the boat, too. Alright, so we gotta pull that down with the boat, I think. I don't see anything else, so, okay. What's up, Michael? Hallie. This building's fine. This this building represents current game builds that are released as a full version. Sure, there's some holes, but that's what patches are for. It's fine. That's totally fine. Time to climb monetization tower now. Microtransaction tower, I should say. All right, let's climb. But I want all the books from this tower first. Let's see if we can find all the books. Squirrels. Yeah, not to mention we have to go find the squirrels at every building too. So this game's gonna take a long time to like clean everything up and get done. That's a lot of quality content. Mm, I don't know if I want to go that way just yet. like we will come back here though to deliver the seed and to go through there Uh, typically we stream at uh, 1080p because if you go any higher than that, YouTube has a big latency with the chat. And so it makes it a lot harder to interact with people live. Like right now there's like a 2 or 3 second delay. If we went to 4K it'd be like 10 seconds. And uh, yeah, it's just more fun this way. Okay, we gotta get through there.
I think we gotta go to the top of the tower now to put this thing in and then we're done. That must be where that goes. Go baby, go! Now how do we go up there? Got to be a way to get up there somehow. Oh, there's so many platforms and stuff up there. Right, I guess we'll go down here. There were vines on the wall. I don't know if they were climbable though, were they? Oh, here you mean. Okay. Yeah, good call, because I was about to go all the way back. Bah, bah, bah. Although we've only found one book, I already feel like we missed a book somewhere. Okay. Uh, before we go up there, let's check around here. In incognito with the 200 Swedish kroner. Love your positive attitude every time you play a game. Every yep, every time you play a game, you always manage to find the good stuff in games. Hey, thanks very much. Appreciate the support. Chat does the same. You guys seem to find a little positivity in every stream too. Hashtag incognito. Thank you. Oh, another hidden flower too. Oh, good. Almost half the flowers as well. Oh, did it skip the elevator ride? Oh. I assume we're up pretty high now. Oh, there's Big Boy looking for us. Hey, Ugly, what are you doing? He's looking for us. Oh, we still gotta go up higher. Oh, it went up even higher. Okay. Got to be some more books here somewhere, but this is a giant tower. There's really not a lot of places to uh, look. Yeah, you can use the telescope to find the books. It's a little harder when you're inside the building because it'll show you like, oh, there's a book there. But the question is like, how do we get there? Like, there's two here. But sometimes you got to find like a perfect little ledge or... But the good thing is you can keep track of everything in the journal. It's like if we open up the journal, we found 3 out of 10 lookouts, 9 out of 26 upgrades, almost half the relics. Seems like it's pretty easy to like find half the stuff in the game at the start and then go back and find everything else. But the map seems much bigger than what we've uh, explored so far. 
looks like if we take a look here. Oh, we can actually fast travel. Oh, cool. Oh, so this is great. So now in the future, if, if we want to go and uh, find the rest of the books, like if, for example, we, we want to get this book here, we just fast travel, get the book, and then fast travel to the next point. So that makes it really easy to get all the stuff at the buildings. And then we just go and grab a few of the other things that we missed. Well, that makes it way easier. But yet still fun because you can still climb all the buildings. You just skip the boat ride if you want to. We must be at the highest point in the game. This tower is huge. Boy, those dishes. Squirrels. All right, we got to go down. Yeah, the books are always on a blue table. Is that Rick, Richard Nixon? Okay, we're going to need one of those. Oh, is there a hang glider? That would be cool. If we could jump from the building and then hang glide down to the surface and have the brother uh, pick us up in the boat, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's pretty easy to miss stuff in this game. But they know that. That's why they made fast travel and everything's marked on the map and there's lookout points. So this is going to be a real cool game to do, like a replay. Not a replay, but you know how it is in some games. You just you get close to the end, and you're just like, ah, I want to beat the story, and then you you know you come back and finish up all the the stuff you missed. Sometimes there's a few things you didn't get to, or something you may have completely didn't see at all. Okay, so we got to go over there. Hey there, Rodrigo. Oh. Actually, before we go there, let's go this way. Okay, so definitely want that book. Can I go back the other way? I want to see something. Okay, I thought I missed something. Alright, we're going to get over there. Wow. Where are the other books? They must all be above us. Nope, there's one we missed at the bottom. How, man? I was. Damn it, I was trying to be super thorough. 
All right, well, no matter what, we're going to have to come back to some of these places. Okay. Sometimes you have to go up to come down, too, based on, like, other ways to go. supposed to go up here but for what oh the little pole okay well this building should be at least a lookout tower for the whole it's the highest point in the game wow look at that the sun's coming up too what a thrill of the darkness da -da 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 -da. oh good a book I guess it's too misty to see everything. So the lookout points can't be too high. Wait, this is a five-year-old game? Uh, the original game is. I thought this one was relatively new. This is a sequel. Alright, well the lookout tower at least will provide us uh, with being able to see what's nearby. Back down again. I think we've got all the all the places we needed to go. Yeah, I think we have to go down again. Alright, this is where we gotta place the seed. What are we missing? Uh, the original game's from 2015. This is a sequel, though, but I don't think you, when I listed the game, uh, YouTube only lists the older game. So I guess that's on YouTube. Where are the other books, man? One there. That's where we came before. I guess I missed that extra one. Yeah, dude, you can miss stuff so easily here. But that's why it's nice that, like, everything that we missed, we can easily fast travel to go back to the location. And then since we know what we're looking for, 
We just have to jump back and get it. Well, how am I going to get down there? Oh, wow. So we had to get... Wow. We had to get to that one before we came up here to go... <laughs> See, that's what's confusing is you'd think like, oh, the book's right up there. I have to go up. No, you stayed on the same level, but then went up that way to climb vines. That's crazy. This game's going to re require a big brain just to find and remember where all the extra stuff is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. All right, let's get this done. All right, if our calculations are correct, this could be the end of the game. Let's see. Should be able to beat the game before chat gets to 400 likes. No possible way that they'll do it. No way. Still more to collect, though. Hi, ugly. Oh, yep. Yeah. I knew they would find him. Now's not a good time for that lady. Uh, but the brother dried his sister's tears and took her hand once more. He believed in her and together they would have their new home. Where do you want me to go? How oh, cool, this is all the stuff we've collected so far. Oh no, I thought they'd be on the tables. Sir, could you wait? I'm busy here. Sir? Or ma'am? Don't you bring that hand up. You put that hand down. Don't you bring that hand up. You put that hand down. Maybe I gotta go up top? I don't know where to go. No touch. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Wait a minute. She's the final seed?
Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's a tree. Alright, well, I assume the game will then go into New Game Plus mode or whatever, or, like, 100% completion mode. wonder what would happen if that creature, like, if we ran into him, maybe he couldn't see us from the top or something. Let's skip the credits and see what happens. Uh, the giant is at peace, the city is restored, and we have a new home. Good. Uh, the city's restored, ma'am. I want to see what's hidden around here. Let's go. Uh, ma'am, the city is, uh, looking pretty rough. Stuff's on fire. That looks pretty bad. And, uh, well, that, that could probably be buffed out. This cathedral that's, like, tipping over or whatever this is. So this dude just became a giant tree? Alright. Now if we look at the map, what do we got? Did it reveal the map? No. Damn it. Well, that's fine. The first thing we would do is go to all the lookout points and find all those. Then start circling back for the books. And then along the way, grab any sort of relics or um, propellers that we maybe missed too. But now, like, the propeller upgrades don't seem as worth it because you can just fast travel between the locations. Even after you've, like, discovered the seed, you can just fast travel there. It's so, like, if we want to go find a book here, we just fast travel. Go to the O'Higgins Village Condominium. Subscriber shout out. Oh, and it tells you nearby pieces, though. Oh, that's cool. It tells you what's nearby. Neat. All right, well, I just wanted to see how the main story ended. So we beat this one, boys. That's, that's a big W. We got a big win, boys. Big win. Hey, welcome to all those new subs. If you guys haven't subbed, now's a great time to smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and also smash the like button. I'm going to get out of here for now, and I'll come back later today with Creeper World 4, which is a video I put on the channel that I would like all of you guys to see. So I'll drop a link for that, I guess, just uh, right now. Let me go ahead and tab out, pull up a link for Creeper World 4 on the channel, and uh, let you guys go see that video. That's a, that's a fun one. That game's good. Uh, let's see here. New subscriber shout out. Yes, good. Good, my children. Good. Alright, go check out Creeper World 4 on the New channel, and I'll be back a little later out. to play it live, because it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Creeper World 4 is really, really cool. Don't miss out on that one. Click on it. You build, like, a giant base, and you can move it around and um, do all sorts of stuff to destroy the creep. Kind of reminds me of this game, in a way. Like, where there's this weird thing taking over the world, and you have to stop it. Cool, though. Why did those kids always sleep inside the big dome? Why didn't they go to one of these houses? Like, why not throw all this stuff out? Oh, well. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll see you soon. Turn the notification bell on. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out. New subscriber shout out.